who is the author of the book Roots? Now you may know the answer to that question, but do you know what Tennessee town can call themselves the boyhood home to this author? We're heading out to West Tennessee, to the town of Henning. That's located just north of I-40 between Memphis and Jackson. The author of Roots was also the author of Malcolm X. Few people, however, know of Alex Haley's Tennessee roots. Shortly after Alex was born, his family moved to Henning. There they operated a lumber company and Alex went to grade school. As a boy, he dreamed of becoming a writer. His friend recalls Alex's early childhood dreams. He said, I want to be a writer. You must want to write. Not just be a writer, but want to write, in spite of difficulties. The family later moved, and after graduating from high school, Alex enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard. After 20 years of military service, he embarked on a new career as a writer. He worked with Reader's Digest and soon wrote his first book, The Autobiography of Malcolm X, as told to Alex Haley. It was translated into eight languages. His fame as an author gave him the opportunity to follow his longing to search out his ancestry, which had begun from stories told by his grandmother during breakfast. After Ashley's mother died, then Grandma took over. Now she was the one that told her grandson all about this old African and, and Kunta Kente and all, all, all that. And, and of course, an African life as a slave. And this is Chicken George. Alex's great, 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 great grandpa, Pope Grace, born a slave. He was a game clock fighter. Haley was able to trace his ancestry back through his tribal history by traveling to West Africa. He came back and wrote the publication of 1976 Roots, Saga of an American Family. A mixture of fact and fiction, he called his work Faction. Portions of Roots were printed in Reader's Digest all prior to the book being published. With the popularity of the book Roots, ABC produced the miniseries which aired in 1977. It set an all-time high in number of viewers, with the Sunday night finale being the highest rated single television production, viewed by more than 130 million viewers. The book Roots sold more than 1.6 million copies in the first six months. It was translated into 37 languages. The book received many awards, including a Pulitzer Prize in 1976. By the end of 1978, Roots had sold almost 5 million copies. Haley lived until February of 1992. He is now buried on the property in Henning, Tennessee. For more specific directions to visit Alex Haley's boyhood home in Henning, Tennessee, visit our website at tennesseetreasures.net. That's tennesseetreasures.net. We give you more details there to help you explore this treasure yourself. You can get all the fascinating stories of Tennessee treasures in a magazine. With colorful pages and unique photos, you'll experience the treasures of the state in print. Packed with trivia and extra information, you'll discover the little-known facts about Tennessee's history, arts, entertainment, sports, general trivia, and geography. Order your subscription by visiting TennesseeTreasures.net. Just $18 plus shipping and handling.